Hi there, my beautiful Sagittarius. So this is going to be a reading from the 11th through the 17th of December. And today I will be pulling out three advice for you, three messages for your love slash relationships and three other general messages that I receive for you guys for this time span. All right, so for my beautiful, beautiful Sagittarius, okay, quick ace. You guys, aces are just the theme for today. I've been getting too many aces. Okay, so Sagittarius, please. One more time. Hmm. I have the Emperor hmm. and the Three of Cups for your person slash relationship. Okay, so for your advice here, I have the Ace of Pentacles. Of course, this would mean loads and loads of opportunities, especially related to your career. Right here for your general messages, I have the Emperor. The Emperor gives out very, very strong energy, somebody very much in their power, somebody who knows what they want, going towards what they really, really want. And for your person, I have the Three of Cups. Ha! Huh, this signifies too many things, some really beautiful, some not so beautiful. So let me just clarify these for you, Saji. First off, let me just clarify the Ace of Pentacles for your advice. <laughs> All right. Oh! <laughs> okay, I have the Seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, the World. All right. Okay, first advice for people who are actually in relationship right now. People who have kids, married or living together. Somebody who is a, in a solid, committed relationship. I really need to tell you that if things are not really going right in that department, if your spouse is giving you a hard time or you're giving them a hard time, things are going to be really, really better. You will get better and amazing opportunities to amend whatever it is that is wrong right there. So you really need, need not worry about that situation. With the world card here, the one advice I'm getting is that there are things around you or inside you that are coming to, a, to an end. And whatever comes to an end leads to a new, more beautiful beginning. And whether we accept it right then or not new beginnings are always better in life because you have been brought out of your old cycle which was no longer serving you and now you're starting something really new that may be exciting to you but also make you nervous so one advice that i'm getting for you right there is that there might be a few surprises that you will be getting in your near future where things will be changing for you and you really need to you know embrace those, those changes with open arms because those are really going to lead you to very beautiful things whatever is it is that you have been wanting and not receiving you will be getting and with the seven of swords okay yeah. so there is somebody around you who is showing something else and is something else from the inside what i mean is that there is somebody and this is very someone very very close to you very close friend a cousin a family member whoever it is they are projecting out to be very close to you your well-wisher somebody who really loves you with all their heart but they have deceiving intentions in their heart so do not trust anyone blindly right now and not even your spouse i know that may sound stupid to a few people but don't even don't trust anyone with you know closed eyes you cannot trust anyone at all because you never know who turns out to be a uh, a, you know someone who can stab you in the back who turns out to be that person who always had negative intentions in mind but you never got to know but there is somebody and you know they're going to take an action which will make you realize that okay this was this person so just be aware of that all right let me just clarify the emperor for your general messages for my beautiful 
Sagis. Okay. What? <laughs> wow, you guys. Are you dealing with a soul connection here? <laughs> so for all the people who are in love right now, things are really going extremely well. If they are not going extremely well, they will be very, very balanced, beautiful, full of love and light in your near future. Because I have two soulmate cards here. The lover's card here signifies that you will have that passion, that love, that magnetic energy for your person. And if it's a new relationship then of course that is there in the beginning but if it's an old relationship then that will be rekindling and resurfacing very soon i don't know what is going to happen but your love life seems to be very passionate and fiery during this time sagittarius wow congratulations on that you guys are really lucky with the two of cups i have equal give and take for you guys this is somebody who loves you as much as you love them so really respect that Sagittarius do not take that for granted because you know what usually happens is that we crave for that beautiful love and when we start getting it we start taking it for granted thinking that okay this person is never going anywhere else they are mine now we started owing them owning them and we start thinking I can behave any which way with this person and this person is always here no that's not the case they're there because they love you and if you test their love too many times then you never know what happens next so that's the advice for you keep them close keep them near respect them love them shower them with everything that you dreamt of you know while we dream of having this beautiful person in our lives whatever it is that we think that we'll do this for them we'll do that for them take those grand gestures because they love you equally they're not going to take advantage of that and again i have the king of swords on the emperor you know what that means that means that uh, this this particular love is going to give you that much power that much respect that you will start thinking that you can really conquer the world and with the king of swords there is one advice that i'm getting is that there might be a situation where you will need to stand up for yourself and talk about yourself take a you you know i mean you can really take advantage of your communication skills during this time because they will be really really supreme you you can you know make anyone do whatever you want with your communication skills do not take advantage of that but know that you can pursue people into doing whatever it is uh, that you would want them to do by just talking to them you have those beautiful communication skills during this time hmm. and of course uh, this was for people that are in love and because the lovers card talks about soulmate connections this so a soulmate can be anybody this doesn't have to be a lover you know specifically this may be in general your father your cousin a very close and beautiful friend who supports you in anything so a soulmate is represented by somebody who is there for us supports us and you know completes us as in many ways if this is not your partner then even in that department things are going to be really really amazing uh, they will be there for you whenever you will be needing them so again keep that person really close and you know when i'm saying keep that person really really close and if you feel that that is your person or that is your soulmate sorry you're not supposed to trust them blindly just keep that in mind okay so let me just clarify the three of cups for your love slash relationship i think many of those messages i've just received in general message but is there anything in specific that we really need to need know for sagis in their love relation okay who did i anger here <laughs> okay you want to fall you fall what do i have i have four cards for you why okay i have the knight of swords seven of cups the moon and eight of pentacles mm. is it <laughs> so uh <laughs> there is something that i'm receiving that is 
not really matching with this situation here in your general advice you guys mm. okay that is really bad <laughs> because this situation right here is matching with the seven of swords energy which is somebody being deceptive somebody betraying you stabbing you in the back mm. you guys i i'm sure about a specific thing but i do not want to put it out there because this is a general reading and i really don't want you to doubt something if it's really really beautiful for you so all i'm saying for your love advice here is you do not really have to trust anyone blindly just remember that even if that person is your soulmate even if that person is loving you with all all their heart even if you know they are in every which way your ideal person all the green flags are there do not give them a hundred percent and i mean give them a hundred percent if you feel like in terms of emotions but don't give a hundred percent power in their hands so that they can you know move you around in any which way hmm. and resonate with this even more if your person is anything related to art some talent some skill even if it's a marketing job where they have to you know pursue people uh, you really keep this in mind if that is the case for you because uh, i mean there is somebody who has been planning something all along and they will take action on it you will recognize who that person is and this may be not your person but somebody else and then you will also realize that this person has loads and loads of options as well <laughs> i don't know why i'm laughing at that because that is really making me sad that's really like dipping something inside my stomach be aware of a betrayal you guys be very aware about your surroundings saji and no and no fast decisions yeah i just forgot this knight of swords this came out for you specifically do not take fast decisions especially when it will come to your person do not you know try and be extremely committed too early do not move in with them too early without thinking do not just you know go around talking to your friends that okay now i'm in this beautiful relationship take your time with it okay take your time and i think things will be better because you are in your power i don't see any energy surrounding you that are not really good for you so that is what i have for you sagittarius i hope i was able to help you guys if not, I will love to read for you guys. You can leave down questions below and I'm going to see you next time. Love.